Hey everyone, it's A. Roberts here, and tonight we are going to be tier listing all of the survivors of Dead by Daylight based on how I feel about their cosmetics as a whole. So taking each survivor, all of their cosmetics together, what do I like, what do I dislike, and we're going to be tier listing those S tier to D tier. Let's do the thing. All right, so first up we have Dwight. Now, obviously, if you've watched me for any length of time, even though I don't play a lot of Survivor, you know I love Dwight. So I'm probably gonna rank him pretty high here. I just, I like the variety of his. Yeah, this new one is hilarious. I, I love it. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones, just because I think he, he uh, it just, yeah, it's, it's very, I, I just, I love how goofy and nerdy all of his are. I have a kind of affinity for Dwight, not only because I do share some, like, both, similarities in the sense that I'm an IT person and also I, you just got a bald skin head that I uh that looks a bit like me bald and bearded so uh all that to say that I do like Dwight quite a bit and I like the quirkiness of a lot of his just this his disheveled look is hilarious to me in all of these and he has quite a variety like you know we've got Beach Dwight here we've got obviously the kind of meme ones of him looking like a present uh, you got the elf one as well, but then you got him as a mechanic. You got him as a pizza delivery guy somewhere in here. Where is it? Where is it? Why am I not seeing it? Why am I just crazy? Apparently I'm crazy. I feel like something's missing here. Uh, oh no, here it is. Uh, not a pizza delivery guy or package delivery. No, he's a pack. Apparently I don't know what I've always looked at this as a pizza delivery guy and it's definitely not. It's a package package delivery because this would be a very bad way to carry pizzas. I don't know. But then you got skydiving Dwight. You got hipster Dwight here. You got another hipster Dwight here. Like kind of the hipster techie guy. Uh, you got kind of snazzy Dwight. You got a few snazzies. You got uh, bum Dwight, you know, in his PJs. And then you got just the reskins here. Um, I just, I really like Dwight. I, I think he's got a good range of skins and uh, they all seem to fit his character, how I imagine his character being from the lore and just kind of the way they, I don't know, they all seem to fit. So I'm gonna tier list Dwight as, uh, do I wanna put him up in S? I, we're gonna put him in A for now. We're gonna leave him in A. I may wanna put him up because I really do love Dwight, but I wanna leave room for loving stuff more, if that makes sense. So we're gonna put him in A. May move him up as we go, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about the others. So there's Dwight. All right, next up we have Meg. And uh, Meg is another one of my favorites as far as her cosmetics go. She too has quite the range. I, I love this new Hansel and Gretel one. You know, she's got she's got quite a range. This is an old, what is this? Hot Rod Riveter, kind of old 60s looking one. Her German looking one, I, I do have some German heritage. So I, I like the kind of the Oktoberfest. And she's got more of a rebel one. A lot of athletic ones, a few athletic ones. Uh, but they all change up her look quite a bit, which I like. She's got some snazzy ones, just like Dwight. And uh, this is one of my favorites right here. Yeah, I just, I like her. Uh, I think they, again, feel like they all seem to fit her character, how I'd imagine her character being. Uh, so again, I probably don't feel fully S tier like this. Like I'm not on the verge of S tier like I was with Dwight but I think I am going to put her in A tier along with Dwight, because I really do like a lot of her cosmetics. All right, and now we have Claudette. Claudette's are, you know, they're good too. She's got the fancy one. She's got this, she looks cozy here. And I guess this is her gardening one. She's got another fancy one. I didn't realize she had two fancy ones. Okay, she's got more than two. Okay, she's got quite a few. Kind of, what is this? Like, this is a wild indigo. Elegant botanist, chic and casual, yet professional and smart. I would say that that's fitting. You know, she's got, yeah, I mean, uh, they all fit her character too. Um, my favorite is still just the, what is it? The, the one that I have on kind of default there, but, uh, I, I like them. I don't dislike them. I kind of feel maybe a little more neutral about them than uh, Dwight or Meg. So I'm going to put her in B for cosmetics. I don't think they're bad by any means. I think they all fit her character. And uh, yeah, they're they're okay. Yeah, B. All right. And now we have Jake. And just keep in mind with all these rankings, these are just how I feel about them. You can feel completely differently. In fact, let me know down in the comments, which ones do you love? Which ones do you not love? Um, you're, you're free to disagree with me there. You're free to agree with me, whatever you feel like. So let me know down there. I love having conversations with you guys down in the comments. That being said, uh, Jake's, I actually, what's funny is I don't ever play Jake. I like a lot of his cosmetics. They're just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> this one looks, he looks real suave here. Yeah, he looks like going out on a night out in the town there. Um, I like his woodsy one here. This one, this one's probably one of my favorites. Uh, I guess is it's more carpentry than woodsy, I guess. He's, he's doing projects in the woods is what he's doing. There we go. Um, some of these are, these are neat, even though they're pretty simple and basic. They're, he's got the outdoorsy look down. This is, what is he? A spaceman here? A spaceman, astronaut, what words? Ah. Um, 
To be honest, I'm looking at a lot of these for the first time. This is definitely a hipster one right here. I'm looking at a lot of these for maybe not the first time ever, but the first time in a long time. So um, some of these are my first impressions as we go. But yeah, I I like his. Uh, I'll actually put his. There's, there's a few on here that I would buy if I played more Jake. So um, I feel like, and that's kind of how I'm going to rank them a little bit in my head is like how, how many of their skins would I actually spend money on if, if I wanted to spend money on those a lot. So anyways, all that to say, um, yeah, we'll put him in, I'll put him in A. I actually like a lot of his skins. I, I'm, I'm feeling like we might end up with a lot in A. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that, but yeah. So Jake, Jake is an A with them. All right, next up we have Nia. Now she's got a lot of cool ones. This is one of her like newer ones, I think. Stockholm Art Fest. I like this one a lot. This is kind of her, what, Vigo's Disciple event one. That one's neat. I love the butterfly in the back, the detail there. This one's cool too. Uh, the thing about hers is they're all so bright, you know, that they're not very stealthy at all. Uh, you're not gonna pull off too much. I like this, like what, 60s looking one, 60s, 70s. I don't know my decades very well, I guess. It's not 80s. I was born in the 80s, so it's not 80s. I can guarantee that. I like this one a lot, the skater looking one. Again, another bright one. They're all kind of loud and artsy. I like it. Uh, very fitting for her character. Some school or school looking ones, kind of punkish. Yeah, I mean, I think they all seem to fit. I, I love flannel too. Like I've always been a fan of flannel, so seeing her in flannel. And then I, I got these two because I really like these, the snowboarder and, and her street art one. What is it called? Graph Crafter. So her, I will put up in, so I'll put Nia in, you know what? I mm, She would be with Dwight on like bordering S and A. I'm going to leave her in A just for now. We'll see. I don't know. I might have to move her up into S. We'll see. I, I do like a lot of her cosmetics. The drawback is they're all like, the ones that I really like are all very loud and not stealthy at all. And I'm more of a stealthy player. So I don't know. Uh, I'll leave her an A for that reason, maybe? They're just not stealthy enough, I guess. I don't know. That's how I feel about Nia. All right, for Bill, I'm actually gonna jump back into the, the out of the shop and into the actual character customization because he this is his stock one, which is all he's got, but then he's also got the uh, Christmas sweater, which I know a lot of them have the Christmas sweaters, but I love his particularly, so I'm gonna call it out because of that. Um, I think his Christmas sweater is hilarious and I absolutely love it. I also really like his stock, his stock outfit. So I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him also in A. And the reason why is just simply lack of cosmetics. Like I really like what he's got. And to me, that's S tier, those but there's not enough of them for me to make it S tier, if that makes sense. I'm making up the rules as I go, I know, but that's how I feel is, yeah, I can't put them in S tier just simply for the lack of quantity. There you go. All right, next up we have David. I really, I, you know, I really like a lot of these cosmetics. Um, I just don't play enough David to spend money on them. I really don't play enough Survivor. I really like the security guard looking one. Is this a security guard? No, it's protector uniform. Okay, uh, it's not a security guard, but he's dressed up like one protector. Yeah, he's just real tough looking. Somebody remind me, is he is he English? Can't remember because a lot of these look very English as far as the styles. This one looks super. This one's probably this one might be my favorite of his. He's got the broken glass bottle in his back. Like, look at that. He's taking some damage to his head. I really like that. Some of the deeds, even his stock, I think is really cool. His stock ones, all these, all these are neat. Special one. I like the mustache there. Like it just, it's all, he looks, he looks real tough. He looks really English. I don't, again, I don't know if he's supposed to be English. I can't remember his lore well enough, but he, he just, he reminds me, like a lot of this reminds me of England. So yeah, I, I really like his. I don't, again, I don't know if I can put it S tier. Uh, so where are you, David? Right here. Uh, we'll put you in A tier as well. I'm putting a lot in A tier. This is, this is, I, I might have to divide that out a little bit. At the end, we'll do a final pass and I'll kind of correct myself. All right, next up we have Lori. Now, she only has the two. She's got basic and then this one. You know, uh, they're not bad, but first of all, there's not very many of them and I don't feel outstanding about any of them. So, uh, let's, we'll put her, she, she'll be our first C. There you go. Uh, I, I don't feel badly about them to put them in D, but there's just not enough of them and they just kind of, yeah, they are, they are what they are. So I guess, I don't know. There you go. All right, next up we have Ace. Now Ace is a character, <laughs> I haven't seen the fishing one. That's funny. I feel like all of his cosmetics are really good at making me really not like him. Like he just looks kind of that scammy ace picture that I have in my head. Like they all fit that pretty well, it seems. 
<laughs> this one cracks me up. His loafers, no facial hair. He looks weird without facial hair. I actually never, ugh. This is a smile. You need a beard, dude. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got the creeper stash. <laughs> oh, the smile with the creeper stash. Goodness. Oh, what is this? This is hilarious. His make me laugh. I don't know why. Look at the curl, the little like wish on his mustache. Like they, this is him trying to look tough, I think, but failing at that. <laughs> I don't know. His crack me up so much. I don't know. I just, I don't like Ace as a character. I don't know that I'm supposed to like him as a character, but I don't know. I, I have a hard time ranking it because I they make me laugh so much. Uh, I'm going to put him in A. All of his cosmetics just seem to fit him perfectly and make me laugh whenever I see him in trial. So yeah, we're going to put him in A, I guess. <laughs> All right, now we have Feng Min. I mean, she's kind of like, when you think DBD, right? You think of probably Dwight, Claudette, Meg, and Feng, among others, of course. But she's kind of the quintessential, like you see her just all over the place. They definitely have given her a lot of cosmetics over the years. Like it seems like every time a Rift releases, Feng's got another one in the Rift. I really like hers. Hers, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the, ad they all project attitude to me. I hadn't seen this one, the gamer one. She's got a few gaming ones. Uh, the bunny, this one, like if, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I generally like Fangs, but I also find that if I'm gonna get a toxic player, it's very often a Fang. And this for some reason is, I not everybody who runs this skin, I feel is a toxic survivor. But I, when I think toxic survivor, this is the skin I think of for some reason, which cracks me up. Um, not this one for some reason. It's always the pink one. It's never the green one. It's always the pink one who's toxic. I don't know. But I'm not saying if you run this skin, you are a toxic person. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. But uh, I just, for some reason, I have the stereotype in my head of this pink one as if I'm going to get a toxic survivor, there's like a 40% mm, chance it'll be a fang and wearing the skin at the same time. I really like this one for some reason. I don't really know why. I think it just, it looks pretty on her, I guess. The, this is another one that you see run all the time. It's just hilarious to me. Yeah, I, I like her skins a lot. I feel like I'm going to put everything in A. She's got the fancy one. Yeah. Man, uh, this is this is turning into a problem. I'm putting a lot of them in A. I might have to mm, might have to split this off. All right, Quentin. What can we say about Quentin? He's got a skin. It's it, it, it's neat. I like it, but it's just it's. It, there's not much skins to rank here. So for that reason and that reason alone, I'm gonna, I feel like I've got to put him in with Lori. He's got the one, it's it's decent, but that's about it. So see, I don't, yeah, there you go. All right, so next up, we've got Detective Tap. I like his skins a lot. They work really well. I like the police one. I like his, his standard one is probably my favorite here. That one looks like he's been through some stuff, I like the beat cop look. Like his skins are good. I like his skins. He just doesn't have that many of them as is probably gonna be the case in with a lot of the licensed ones. And later on, it, it, you know, it seems like the originals have the most skins or the or the early on survivors is what I mean. Whereas licenses in the later survivors naturally have less. So I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to put him in B. I do like a lot of them. It's just he doesn't have that many. So I'm going to put him in B. And I think there there will be a few later on where I they don't have that many, but I really love them. So we're going to put them higher because of that. But I think for him, I'm going to put him in B. I think they're solid. They're definitely solid. In, in my mind, B is good. So he's in a good tier as far as I'm concerned. All right. Next up, we've got Kate and and um, she's another one who's got a ton, a ton. They just seem to always add Kate skins for some reason. This is one of the newest ones. I think it's great. Just looks cute Western. I don't know. You got beach. You got kind of dressed up for a date. You got school, Kate, which I think is just, this is one of my favorites here. You got kind of all these music slash, I could just see like it, it, it fits her character well, all of these showing out. You can see her rocking up to a music festival and pulling out a guitar. Then this is one of my favorites here. I don't, I don't know. It may be the same way as the Meg, just the mountain climbing vibe, the hiking vibe. She's got her more like uh, Southern flannel shirts there. Yeah, I just think, uh, and you got her biker one there. I, I I think hers work a lot. I She's she's probably one of my favorites as far as the, the quantity of skins that she has that I really, really like. So she might be the first one I put up into S, honestly. I think she's got some really great skins that all fit her character, but are diversified enough. Uh, now I'm feeling like, uh, let's do this. There we go. I feel better about that now. There were too many in A. We'll, we'll put these guys up, up there because they've got a lot of skins, fit their character, wide variety. So that'll be S tier for those, those three. Okay. Here we go. All right, next up we have Adam Francis, and he is probably one of my favorite survivor players or survivor characters as far as uh, both. Uh, I love playing Adams. They all seem to be pretty altruistic. And I just, I really like when I see an Adam in game. I like his character. I like his lore. I like uh, facing him because most survivor players play, play him in a way that I enjoy. Um, I will say that, I mean, his, his comment, cosmetics, are there's a wide variety and there's quite a few of them i feel like this is dad adam this is adam as you know older with kids i feel like i like the camera got some good detail to it yeah i don't know i'm i'm you know coming into this i i didn't think i would like his as much he's got like the a lot of different trench coats here yeah i i like his uh i'm gonna put him in b he's kind of an s-tier person to me his cosmetics i'll put in b i feel 
I feel that way about them. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Jeff is another one of those that I uh, I love when I find him in game because nobody plays him. So he's kind of like a unicorn. I love seeing him in game. I don't get to see a lot of his cosmetics in game because I don't get to see him a lot in game. And when I do, it's usually his default. I really love this one. This one's great, I think. It's the unhinged rider, delusioned and alienated by the now dystopian and deserted West Coast. Jeff hit the road, never to return. Yeah, this does feel very Mad Max. Uh, this one, like, straight out of the 70s. A lot of biker-themed ones. Kind of like a kiss look there. You know, his are good. He's got a lot of recolors and stuff. It, do they recolor his shirt? On a couple of them, not on all of them. I mean, they recolor the shirt, but the design kind of stays the same on some of them. You know what? He's going in B as well. I feel I feel good about his cosmetics, but not A tier. So he's going to go in, in, in B along with the others. So there you go. All right, then we have Jane. Jane, I, I like... Her stuff is all over the place too. I like when they have a wide variety, when it's not just kind of the same style skins over and over. A lot of this feels like my wife's style. So this looks like Teacher Jane. What is this? She's mic'd up for something. Gameplay Expo Entertainer. Okay, I like that. Yeah, she's got some good ones. I am also going to stick her in B, I think. I like hers. She's got some good ones. All right, so we have Ash, and I love the Evil Dead series. Um, this one, I mean, it just, you know, very fitting. This one cracks me up with the little doll in his hand. Uh, you know, the, uh, what what is the store called? Uh, what, what was it called? I forget. Anyways, yeah. I really like his. Uh, again, he kind of suffers from the, you know, doesn't have a whole lot. And I like them. I don't love them. So I'm going to put him up in, um, I think, B. Because he has more. He has more than some, but not enough to make him A. Even though I really like what he does have. All right, so we have Nancy. And uh, obviously, she's going to be a little harder to rank because I'm working off of memory a lot. We're back in the customization because none of her skins are in the shop anymore because the Stranger Things skins were removed. Uh, but I just really like uh, her skins based on how they brought it in from the show. And she actually did have quite a few of them, if I remember correctly. And they all looked like straight out of the show, very well done. And so I feel like I'm putting her in A, even though she no longer has uh, a number of cosmetics, but, and I only bought one out of the many she had, but I just, using my memory, I feel like uh, I felt really good about her skins back when they were in the shop. So I'm going to put her in A, but again, that's kind of just working off my memory. So, but yeah, she'll be in A. All right, so Steve is another one that uh, I, I'm, I'm very biased on. I love Steve from Stranger Things. He's my favorite character probably in the entire show because he's, he's an awesome character. And I just, uh, I'm going to have a lot of bias come in here. Um, now, again, he's another one where they removed all of his skins. I only had bought one of them, so I only have his default and this one to show off to you. So, but his default one, you know, kind of basic, uh, but this is my favorite one. So I bought it uh, before they left the shop. I, I just, I, again, they brought in so many that were just direct from the show and did such a good job with them. And this happens to be my favorite one. So again, working off my memory, also factoring in my bias for Steve, he is actually going to be S tier for me which might upset some people, but um, yeah, he's going to be S tier. And uh, that's just how I feel about Steve. I love Steve from the show. In the game, granted, sometimes they can, I don't know. Uh, in the show, I love Steve. So yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let that bias come in and affect this tier list. Because again, it's my tier list. You can, you let me know down in the comments, where would you rank Steve? There you go. There you go. All right, next up we have Yui. Yui, I also is another one that I really, I like a lot of her cosmetics. Very fitting all over the place as well, but a lot with the motorcycle theme, a lot with, you know, just themed with her heritage and all that. I just, I love it. This one looks real tough. I envision her as like this tough character, this this driven, resilient character. And I feel like all of these kind of bring that across. So yeah, I, I'm going to rank her. She's going to be, she's going to be an S tier for me. I really like, where are you on this tier list? Oh, there you are right there. Hello. So she's going to be S tier for me. I'm good with her in S. All right. And now we are on Zarina. Okay. I'm, I'm conflicted because some of these I really like, and some of these I don't, and I'm, I'm more split on her than I probably am on most because some of them I really like, and some of them I'm just like, you know, I don't know. Uh, the cozy pajamas that kind of cracks me up when I see, I see this one a lot for some reason. If I see a Zarina, like 50% chance she's wearing that. I really like the, uh, what is this? The wartime, the gorilla filmmaker. Uh, this is probably my favorite of hers, actually. I don't know why I don't already own this one. Uh, because I don't play Survivor, that's why. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm mixed on hers. So it's going to factor out, like some of them I'd probably put in C, some of them I put in A. So I'm going to combine that together and put her in B. Yeah, B. There we go. See, now some of the A's and the B's are, are more in line with each other, which, uh, you know, should be. We should probably have more in C, but, you know, I like a lot of Dead by Daylight skins. So I just enjoy. I enjoy, I enjoy what they create. 
there you go. All right, so we're on to Cheryl. Now, the cool thing about this tier list that I found was they actually included all of the legendaries as well. Uh, so we're gonna rank those separately. I, I, you know, it's been a long time since I've played anything Silent Hill, but I this is all very recognizable from the game. Very well done. Cheryl herself is maybe a little... I don't, what else would you do for her? I don't know. I was gonna say basic, but I don't wanna like... I think they've been fa pretty faithful to the game. So I'm going to... Now, I'm not as... I didn't grow up playing... I, I was more of a Resident Evil guy than a Silent Hill guy. Uh, uh, I respected Silent Hill. I have played um, some of Silent Hill's games, but I haven't, um, they're really kind of, I'm waiting for like the remakes and the, the hopefully the, the new one that is rumored. Yeah, my experience with Silent Hill isn't as extensive as my experience with Resident Evil, and therefore my love for it isn't as extensive as my love for Resident Evil. So I feel like that, again, some of my bias coming in, I feel like I'm gonna put all of these in B, because I think they did a great job bringing them over from games. Uh, but again, there's not that many to choose from, and uh, like it is with a lot of the licenses, and I don't love, love, love them the way I will some of the other ones that I'll probably rank here in a second, which you can see coming if you if you know me. I did realize, I forgot to rank um, Jonathan. I I feel like Jonathan looked weird to me. I, I'm working off a of memory here. And uh, if, you, if you were playing the game back when Stranger Things was in there, I can't show you because I don't own it and they took it out of the shop. I feel like I'm gonna put him in C because he just, for some reason, I just remember him looking really weird. Like I like him as a character in the show, but I felt like he just looked weird in the game. So I'm gonna put him in C. Anytime I see a Jonathan in the game, I'm just kind of like, he looks timid for some reason. He looks more timid than he should be because in the show, he's uh, he's not like the most confident person in the show, but he's also capable, I guess. I don't know. So anywho, I don't, I, I'm gonna put him in C just for, for that reason. I felt like it didn't represent who he was in the show as well as some of the other um, imports into the game. So there you go. All right, we have Felix up next. People love Felix, right? This one cracks me up for some reason. Uh, just the pajamas. Any of the pajama ones crack me up. He's got good variation. He looks studly in all of them, fitting for what I know about his character. I'm not like super, I know a lot of people find him super attractive and really like him for that, but this is probably my favorite, that mustache though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I uh, I'm gonna rank him B. I can rank him B. I don't love his cosmetics, but I don't not love not dislike them. I guess I don't know. This is the first time I think I've had a tier list go into the second second row for a tier, but too many are in B, I guess. Oh well. All right. Next up we have Elodie. She's another one that you know. I, she's got a medium amount. Bunch of recolors though. You know I don't love a lot of her skins to be honest. I don't have anything against them. I just don't love them. And if you love them, great. That's awesome. I just don't for some reason. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rank her C. I just don't, I'm not in love with a lot of her cosmetics, but that's okay. All right, next up we have Yoon Jin. And uh, again, a lot of her cosmetics are very fitting for kind of the character she played, you know, as a music producer, performer, manager. What what was she again to Trickster? I can't remember. I think she was his manager. So very fitting, but a lot of it's like just recolors and a few unique ones. There are some that I, I don't know. I kind of, again, I kind of maybe feel a bit about her the same way as I do about Elodie, so I'm gonna put her in C. I don't, I don't love too many of her skins and a lot of recolors, and I think they're fitting. And again, if you, if that's your style, great. Just, just not quite mine, I guess. I don't know. All right, now Jill. Okay, Jill and Claire. Actually, we'll, we'll rank them separately. This is where my Resident Evil bias is gonna come in heavily again. So just like I admitted with Steve, straight up gonna admit it. And, and for all the Resident Evil skins, I love uh, how they brought Jill in. Feel like they did a good job bringing her into the game. I know there was some like graphic thing where you know, her, well, there was an update right where her face got like. Puffier? I don't know. Yeah, her face, like, I don't know if they fixed it. It seemed that it doesn't look all that puffy to me, but I'm trying to remember what it used to look like. There was a point at which it like, it like poofed out like she had gotten stung by a bee or something on her cheek, but it looks okay to me now. I don't know. Maybe that's just, I've gotten used to it, but um, I know it looks better. I, I, like, I know they got criticism because like Fortnite's Jill skin looked better, but also, I mean, different graphics, right? Different graphical style, fidelity, etc. cetera. So um, all that to say, I really like Jill. I love that they brought in her, her original back, way back when outfit from the original game. And I like her uh, one from Resident Evil 3. So even though there's not a lot for Jill. I'm breaking that standard and because I love Jill, I love Resident Evil. Uh, she's gonna, she's not gonna go, uh, do I want, I, I'll put her in A. I'll put her in A. That's how I feel. I'll put her in A. Uh, Jill will go into A. That's how, I feel good there. Yeah. All right. And then we're gonna rank Claire. Now I will say Claire is one of my favorite Resident Evil characters of all time. I love Claire. I'm not like super stoked about this skin the way I was about Jill's. Uh, for some reason, she just looks different to me than she did in Resident Evil 2. I don't know. I like it. I, I have no problems with 
with it uh, other than it just for some reason the face looks different to me than what I envision as Claire and I know there's like four different versions of Claire throughout all the games and whatnot because every time they release a new game they change uh, there's just something where it looks like I don't know something got lost in translation here for me normally absolutely love Claire but I'm gonna put her in uh do I want to put her in B like I feel bad putting Claire down in B but I, I like I like Jill's more than Claire's so if Jill's in A then Claire has to be in B which which is sad to me I feel like uh, I love Claire so much I want her I want her in A but this is not that tier list not how I feel about the characters it's how I feel about their cosmetics in the game so there you go so now we get to Leon and Chris Leon okay I, I don't know I grew up playing Resident Evil 2 like when I think Resident Evil my first real Resident Evil game was Resident Evil 2 so I have great affection for Claire and I have great affection for Leon uh, that that's one I actually the most recent Resident Evil movie the live action one I actually had a lot of things I liked about it even with the risks they took but my biggest gripe was what they did to Leon that was a travesty come on they ruined his character and uh, that's just how much affection I have for Leon that was so bad to me that was egregious what they did to Leon in in the newest movie but that being said Leon is maybe I I could probably say Leon is my favorite Resident Evil character of all time probably just because I grew up on Resident Evil 2 and so playing through the remake absolutely loved playing Leon uh, I love his skin in the game. Like, I think they did such a good job bringing this over. His Resident Evil 4 outfit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake. I have such love for Resident Evil 2 characters. Leon, I, I know he's more than a Resident Evil 2 character, but you know, you get what I'm saying. I love Leon. So he's instantly, even though he's only got two, I'm breaking that trend again. I'm letting that bias just flow full in. We're putting him in S. He is S tier. To me. I wish I could say the same about Chris. I don't know if they were trying to go for more like a retro look for him. This feels like it came out right out of Resident Evil HD. I don't know. It just feels like he looks less natural. I don't know if they were going for that retro look with him, like an old school graphics look, but for some reason, I don't know. It, it might just be in my mind, but it just feels less polished than something like this. So I, I, he's a B to me. I, I really wish they had brought in uh, Chris from Resident Evil Village. That would have been a cool skin. As you can see, I haven't bought this one. I would have bought the Resident Evil Village one. I don't know. I, I do like Chris Chris is a character, but again, he's he's probably on a lesser tier than Leon and Jill, so and Claire. So he's he's his is going in a B for me. Uh oh no. His is going C for me. I'm sorry. Any Chris lovers out there, I like I'm with you. It feels painful to put him there. But that skin, I just I I don't know. There's something about it just to draw back for me. I'm putting him in C because I can't put him in the same tier as Claire. And I can't put Claire in with Jill. I don't know. I maybe could move them all up one, but I don't know. <laughs> that's where I'm sticking right now. Again, ask me tomorrow. I may have a completely different view, but that's where I'm at right now. There you go. All right. McKinney Kayla's, I feel like she is properly eccentric, all very fitting to a character. Lots of recolors though, which again, isn't a bad thing. Like sometimes recolors are good, uh, especially if her base is good. I, you know, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't buy any of these. Like I, I just don't love them. Again, if it's your style, if you love them, if you like, they fit her character very well, like props that they just don't, mm, I feel like I've got to put her, I don't know, where should I put her? I feel like she would ride the line between B and C for me. And solely because I have so many in B, I'm gonna move her down to C. Sorry, Michaela Mains. Again, I, I don't mean anything negative. Like you can see no one's going in D so far. Like I, I don't feel negative about anybody's uh, skins. I just kind of feel neutral about hers. So I don't know. Yeah, she's in, she's in C for me. All right, now we have Jonah. This one weirds me out because he looks so different without facial hair. I don't know. I don't know why that weirds me out so much. Like he looks massively different without facial hair. I really like this one for some reason. I mean, they're they're okay. I'm not like in love with any of them. Uh, I don't know. I feel like using all the same criteria I've used for everyone. I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in C again. I could he maybe rides the line here, but I've got so many in B. I feel like somebody's gotta go down in C, right? I, I guess I've got plenty of people in C, but so many people in B. So B's a little crowded. We're gonna put him down in C. There you go. It's the problem with going towards the end, right? All right. Um, so I am sorry. I'm going to butcher his name. Yochi. Is that correct? Somebody correct me, please. I hate I hate butchering names, but that, that's just a thing I do, I guess. I don't know. Yochi. Yo, Yoichi? Yo, sorry. I'm going to stop. I, I mean, I think he looks cool. Uh, I like both of these skins, but again, he's got the drawback. I don't, I don't love any of them and he's got the drawback and they're loud too. They're bright. Like there's no hiding as him. Bright yellow or bright blue. Those are your choices. So again, th the pain of going last, right? Uh, I feel like I'm going to put him in C as well. Again, because B is so crowded and he just does not have very many options. He doesn't even have near the options that, uh, Jonah has. I guess he is a licensed character. So technically, uh, licensed characters have seem to have less options overall but yeah i don't know uh and, and for the, the 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 tactical issue of he's 
all his skins are super bright because he's got two and they're both very bright. So there you go. I'll put him in C. So next we've got Hattie and I think I'm saying that right. Again, I'm bad with names. So please correct me if I'm saying her name wrong. Basically, uh, she doesn't have that many. Uh, again, she's the newest one. So that makes sense. But she doesn't have that many. Most of them are just recolors or slight reiterations of the same theme. So this is the only one that's like super different. And I, I like it. It's eccentric, it's bright, it's kind of got like the eel thing. Like, dude, why are you just letting that drape on your shoulder? That seems seems weird. Anywho, like her earrings, you know, looking all seashelly or something. I don't know. It's good. Uh, th her skins are her skins are good for what they are, but again, they're not wowing me. And she's brand new, so she doesn't have that many options. So at least until she gets more, kind of like with some of the other newer ones, I'm gonna put her. I feel bad for ranking all the newer ones in C, but again, I don't hate any of them. I just I feel neutral about hers as well. So. She's going and see with the others. Let's do a review and see if I want to change anyone. Um, um, okay, I'm only going to change, I'm going to change two and you probably, I might change three. Hold on. Okay, so Jill up there, Claire up there, and where's Chris? I'll move him up into B. <laughs> Sorry, Resident Evil fan. I, I had to do it. I really like Jill and, and Leon. And I feel like I was feeling a bit of peer pressure of, I just know a lot of people had issue with Jill's conversion into Dead by Daylight. And I feel like I, that was forcing me to rank her down a little bit, but I, I truly love her uh, RE3 skin. So I wish she had more. I w Shoot, I wish she was in more Resident Evil games. I know this is a DVD video and I'm supposed to be talking about DVD and I'm actually talking about Resident Evil right now, but Capcom, get on your game. Jill needs to be in more games, please. Anyways. So back back to DVD, this this is how I'm going to rank them now and uh, unashamedly rank the Resident Evil ones higher. Because and two, that's what that's what brought me into Dead by Daylight. Resident Evil introduced me to the game, so I have Resident Evil to thank for my love for Dead by Daylight. And I wouldn't be making Dead by Daylight videos if it wasn't for Resident Evil. So there you go, they get a bump for those reasons and my love for them. So. Anywho, all right, so those are my rankings for all the survivors based on their groupings of cosmetics all together. So just taking all their cosmetics, grouping it together and then ranking them by their survivor. I might feel radically differently about these even a week from now, but uh, once a few more survivors are released, we may redo this again. Once uh, some of the other ones have more cosmetics to work with, they may go up a tier or down a tier, who knows? So anyways, let me know down in the comments, how would you rank? Who are your favorite survivors? What are your favorite cosmetics? And where would you disagree with me most? Where would you agree with me most? Let me me know down in the comments. I read every single one of them and I try to respond to as many as possible. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you gave the video a like. Also, if you want to see more videos from me and enjoy my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Up next are another couple of videos that I think you might like from my channel. So go ahead and click on those. And let me know what you think. And as always, you're awesome. Stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.